Hey, um, I thought I'd make this video in contrast to uh, the last one about some of the things that uh, are still difficult for me even after all this time and I haven't really talked about any of that for a while except you know all my identity crisis shit so um, this time I'm, I'm gonna try to focus on something that's like generalized in my life sort of problems um, <clears throat> And one of the major ones, probably the major one, is, is my absent-mindedness. I'm a terrible organizer. I, I can't plan things properly. I, I can wake up one day and my mind space is like completely blank. Like I just get up and drink some water and, and go around and do some, some of the things that I would normally do completely forgetting that this was like a super important day for something or it, it, it's it's not even just that it's also like little things when I was studying for instance I I'd have to take the train and I'd have to switch trains once twice if I miss, messed up the first one and I'd get there an hour late maybe at least once a week and you know that's quite a lot when you're in university and People rely on you. We're put in groups, and it, it, it's just—it's—it's it's a bit of a mess, if I'm honest. Um, my memory isn't very good either. I—it's never been, according to according to my my family and the people who knew me when I was little. Um, it's just an absent-minded child. I I go around doing my own thing and completely forget about the outside world for extended periods of time, as I still do to some extent. Um, yeah, it, that's not always practical. Um, and the last thing that I, I is, really, is really troublesome for me is, is making decisions, especially between very similar or, uh, yeah, identical choices. Like if you're presenting me with two different types of soda, I, I'll start looking for for a reason to choose one over the other, even though it doesn't matter. Because I I don't know I, I probably have some bad experience with making random decisions because I've tried doing that and feel pretty bad and sometimes goes wrong. Um, but yeah, I I just get stuck. I get completely stuck trying to find a reason to choose something which should just be down to subjective opinion but I guess I have flattened effect and I don't have much of an opinion so I would like there to be a logical choice <laughs> uh, so when there isn't one I get stuck and there often isn't one so um, yeah I guess something that's been helpful for me that has been there in the past that I don't have as much anymore was uh, I used to have someone coming over every day pretty much and, and you know, sort of nudging me, hey, get out of bed, hey, do this, hey, do that, and some people probably might really hate that, but for me that was extremely helpful, because uh, I actually, I, I want to do those things, I, I want to be better, I want to improve, it's just that it's not even, it's not even in my mind, it's, 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 it's not on the radar, and even if it's, if it gets there, it, it gets bumped out by something else, I start noticing, the lamp on my electric organ or something and I'll be thinking whether it's manufactured in Japan like the rest of it was and it's irrelevant pointless shit like that <laughs> and, uh, it's yeah so so someone who kind of nudges me along or well yeah even something like a dog where I'd have someone else relying on me can be really helpful because it, it gets me out of my own head and I have a purpose in relation to someone else, or a, yeah, um, and and that sort of sort of bypasses that whole decision-making problem because now I know that I am trying to do what is best for this dog slash person. Um, so yeah, something that I I probably some people will be wondering about is more positive symptoms with uh, hallucinations or delusions or anything of the sort. Um, that stuff has never really been that big of an issue for me. And I'm not saying because it's not there, because it has been, uh, and sometimes is. But I don't feel like 
that's ever what stops me from doing what I want to do. It's it's just something that's there, and sometimes it's annoying, and once in a while, it, well, it messes with my sleep. Actually, the sleep would be the the main issue there, uh, because when you can't sleep, when your your mind is going all nuts on you, um, you wake up the next day, and and your mind isn't even worse shape. So it becomes like a self-reinforcing cycle, and it can be extremely difficult to squeeze all that mind fucked upness into a box and just fall asleep at a normal time and wake up and do normal things. Because it, it all becomes about sleep and getting it and not getting it. It's it's it, it, it's really annoying. <clears throat> but sometimes I can't sleep without the positive without the positive symptoms being there at all. So that doesn't really seem to be the main issue. Um, so 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 yeah, I'm probably lucky in that regard. Um, I guess that was about it. <laughs> I find myself stopping. That doesn't happen a lot. Um, something I wanted to ask you guys, though, because I end up always sitting here talking for hours, or well, forever and ever, about random stuff, and I always feel like I have to contain it or shorten shorten it down somehow. Um, I was thinking about trying something like a podcast format, because... And I mentioned it before. I, I think it'd be. I think I think I'd like to do it. I think I'd like to just sit here and, and blabber on forever. But I don't know. I don't know if that's something that that you guys would want to see. So uh, let me know if you want if you want random talk with me. <laughs> uh, and I'm probably gonna make it, whether you want it or not, just to see. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, evening, night, day, whatever it is, um, take care of yourself.